Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're watching. This year has been yet another special year for Limaru. We have achieved many things as a community, and we have reached greater heights with the effort of all of us in this community. Also, I realized that the New Year's address is always a little formal and a little boring, so this year, I'm changing the style of the New Year's address a bit to hopefully make it more interesting. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. My greatest takeaway from this year is to see how Nemaro has become a very special community that stands out from all other communities. And what I mean by this is that the Limaru community has grown from what was originally a city and transport enthusiast community to a larger community where people learn skills and concepts of various topics from each other, some of which don't even relate to the Minecraft server at all. But the one thing about the Limaru community which I think makes us exceptional from other similar Minecraft communities is that we all strive to grow and learn from each other. I think most of us are familiar with the situation where there's this one guy being really demanding and always unhappy when people disagree with them, even if the disagreement makes sense. A lot of the time in those situations, people in other communities will just downright ban or mute them. But here in Limaru, you see a very different culture in which we try to understand and try to communicate with the person. Let them know what they did wrong, so that they can improve themselves, not just only in the online space but possibly in real life as well. We have a culture of openness and flexibility and while we do get frustrated when someone does a mistake, we always give them a second chance, sometimes even a third or fourth chance. And because of this, I want to thank everybody for shaping the Limaru community into what it is today. Personally, I think it has helped me to grow as a person and be more open-minded to different perspectives. Moving on to the next part, let's take a look back on our achievements and some important events which have happened in the past year. The first half of the year saw few achievements and events, but the second half of the year was filled with quite a list of events that happened. In February, the new staff ranks of police officer, detective and attorney launch, launched for the first time so that players would have a chance to play a part in the server's justice system. In the same month, Senri Town, a town for all players to build in, was open to the public as a way for everyone to show their creativity. Results were mixed, with players starting an anti-leader campaign in the north and a communist wasteland in the south, and the only sensible build was a single house beside the main road. Moving on to March, YG City started the district system, with the first district being given to Fat Fox, which is now New Foxton. The cable car centre was also renovated into the white appearance you see today. In May, renovation of Solutional Park Station was conducted, where the station was redesigned to look more aesthetically pleasing and also provide more space on the platform while providing seamless cross-platform transfers. The server also had more than 10 people for the first time in a day, which meant that trains were filled for the first time in the history of the server, and that was recorded as one of the videos. In June, the Limaru YouTube channel hit 100 subscribers. The YG City Project YouTube channel followed a few weeks later. YG City Project also posted the first ever train ride video of the North South Line. June also marked the first ever recorded event of an incident happening on the YG City Losting Bridge. In total, there have been 5 incidents on the bridge just this year alone. Quite an achievement. In July, we commemorated the first anniversary of the reunion of YG City and Limaru. Today, YG City is recognized as an important and inseparable part of Limaru. In August, due to Fort Fox uh, mysteriously disappearing without informing us for more than two months, we held a handover ceremony of New Foxton back to YG City. The good news is that Fat Fox is back and he's alive. The bad news is that he officially abandoned it, so now I have to deal with that. Also in August, well actually in September, we celebrated the 3rd anniversary of Limaru with our very first National Day Parade. The video featured the landmarks of Limaru and showcased the vast history of our server. I'm honestly still surprised how I managed to pull that off in like 2 weeks. Somewhere in September or August or October, I forgot, uh, 
Lisby and I finished the construction of the YG City Parliament. This also meant that Lakeside Station isn't, a, isn't useless now, yay. Also in September, Fat Fox and I uploaded the first episode of How It's Made Minecraft, which got really popular. Also, we'll be working on the second episode soon, so stay tuned. In October, our subscription to Pebblehost ended, and we had one month to wait before the new server was up, since Mike wanted to have a less weird payment date. So for the month of November, we were kind of left waiting with nothing to do, until I got the server up using a Raspberry Pi, which uh, had an average DPS of like 5, uh, playable but at the same time unplayable. And during that time, work on Limaru's biggest station, Katsuragi, also started. But because of its humongous size, its deadline was pushed back again and again, and will probably not open for the new year. And finally in December, we got out the new server on the new server provider, and business was back to normal. So, what can we expect in the next year? As our community grows and matures, it will inevitably get harder for new players to get to know and to integrate into our community. Many of us have seen it and share similar experiences on other servers. To tackle this issue, the server staff are already discussing and planning for this future issue. As part of our plans, we looked at the current problems which new players face, and we identified that some of the problems include a messy and unclear starting objective and navigation around the server, a confusing and unclear rank system, and an inadequate understanding of the rules and culture of our server. We are actively taking actions that are addressed to tackle these issues. For example, we recently relocated the spawn from the former downtown spawn in mainland Limaru to the new Sun Moon Lake spawn in Waijui City. The reason for this change is that Sun Moon Lake offers more clear-cut things to do for new players, such as letting them ride on the Sun Moon Lake cable car, which is also one of Limaru's most famous landmarks. Another example is the recent change in the rank system. Previously, many players and even some of us server staff mentioned that the ranking system of builder to senior builder and then to architect was confusing and tedious, which discouraged new players from trying to apply for builder ranks. As such, we looked back into the ranking system and redesigned it to make it much easier for a new player to start contributing to Limaru. As for future initiatives, we are working on Limaru's very first census. This census is aimed at collecting feedback and demographics from all server members, which will greatly help in identifying issues with the server and help us to better schedule events such as celebrations and parliament sessions so that more players can participate. Do stay tuned to know when we release the census to the public. And with that, I guess that is pretty much it for this year. We look forward to providing more awesome and memorable experiences for you here in Limaru in 2022. Goodbye and have a happy new year.